Hi, I'm Ace Aurelia. I've been coming over to Benidorm for over 20 years now, first on holiday and then working over here as well. This little video is all about what to do in Benidorm when it rains. As you can see, the weather's not that good. So I'm going to take you around the town and show you little things that you can do when the sun stops shining in Benidorm. First thing to do in Benidorm when it rains is panic buy a poncho. Everybody wears ponchos in Benidorm when it rains or get a cheap umbrella from one of these shops. As you can see, they are the heights of fashion around Benidorm. Multicoloured and you can match with your friends as well. You don't look silly whatsoever. Get a poncho. The first place I can recommend in Benidorm to go when it rains is Benny Caldea. It's a spa, it's a gym, you can get a massage there and you can spend quite a few hours of your day out of the rain and inside. You'll see it advertised all around Benidorm as well on some digital screens and in the local newspapers etc. It's in the Hotel Ambassador which is on the main strip just facing John and Joseph's and down from Morgan's Tavern. You go in the main entrance, you go down these stairs and you'll see the reception desk on the right hand side where you can choose what you want to do for the day you can book a massage a health treatment or you can go in the gym and the pool if you're looking for something to do between three and six o'clock in the afternoon when it rains why not try the hotel don pancho they've started to offer afternoon tea just eight euros and you get everything there your tea scones sandwiches sweets and a glass of carver which is just cheap plonk basically that's on the mediterraneo road and you can't miss it it's a massive big hotel just down from the Hotel Don Pancho, there's a Chinese massage place. There's a few of these around town. There's Thai ones as well. You'll see the Hotel Belroy. We just went past there. Across the road from it is a little known Tempin bowling place. I never knew about this place until recently. And it is a place you can definitely spend a few hours if you really want to get out of the bad weather. Just go down the stairs here and you'll see these arcades as well. Loads of stuff to keep everybody occupied in the day. There's a bar, of course, because everywhere in Benidorm has a bar. And you can get food. And just on the right-hand side there, that's where you pay for your lanes. And just at the end, you can see them. There's about 10 lanes. So plenty of fun for everybody to be had playing bowling. One little known place to go in Benidorm when it rains, or even when it doesn't, is the cinema. Now, it is a Spanish cinema, and don't be put off by that, because each week they always have one movie, which is in English with Spanish subtitles. It's just down here on the right-hand side, you'll see it coming up. And on the front of it, you'll have all the movie posters and the show times. But we're going to look for the one which says VOS, which is version original with subtitles. It's quite self-explanatory, and it does say it's an English movie as well. It's only about seven or eight euros to go to the cinema here too. It's usually half past six and eight forty-five that the time on. There we go on the right hand side, Sala two. Screen 2, 6.30 and 8.45. Um, but you can check online. I'll actually put the website link in the description of this video as well. And you just go up to this little booth in front of you and get your tickets there. Now, I've used the Hotel Melia as a point of reference in a few videos. And they have a spa as well. So that's another option if you're on this end of town. Just go in the main entrance and they'll sort you out with the health spa. Of course, when it rains, you've got the indoor market. Everyone's favourite place to go when the sun isn't shining in Benidorm. The one-stop shop to buying tat, changing your money, buying bits and bobs that you don't need, but why not? You're on holiday. Do you need a fridge magnet? you got fridge magnets. You can get all those with Benidorm on the front of them. Cheap sunglasses. Who needs expensive sunglasses? Who needs Ray-Bans when you can buy Ray-Berries? You can go to the butchers and buy some steak for tea if you don't fancy going out and braving the rain out there. There's a few tapas bars just down your left hand side and a bit further down there's quite a big one as well where you can get a beer and you can just chill and spend some time watching everybody else buying all the tat. There's loads going on in here, loads of sparkly stuff if you're a bit like a magpie. You can even buy curtains, of course you need curtains. There's mobile phone shops if you've run out of credit or you need a phone case or a phone unlocking or anything like that. There's hairdressers and beauty salons, vape shops and places you can buy toys for the kids or the grandkids or just you if you fancy doing a woodcraft construction kit. You never know. That place there, that does cheap perfume. They're kind of like counterfeit ones. You ask them which one you want and they will make it up for you a lot cheaper than the high street. There's loads of stalls which are basically just pound shops tipped out into market stalls. But you know what? Why not have a look round? There might be something that you need. There's loads of fake clothes. 
I don't know how they get away with it, but uh, you can buy fake clothes. And you get a free trip to Altea, or you can go to Guadalest. Loads of stuff on offer. Get your British food. Loads of places in Benidorm now do do it, but you can get everything in the indoor market. Um, counterfeit clothes everywhere, which will fall apart when you wash them. These are quite cool, though. Take a picture in, and they'll put it into a hologram type thing. There we go, counterfeit clothes, counterfeit clothes. Um... Yeah, of course you need a t-shirt with Benidorm on it. Cheap belts. Get nice leather belts in Benidorm. They're actually all right. And I think there's a fish spa coming up on the right-hand side. That is my idea of hell. But look, get your feet in there. How much is it now? It used to be five euros. Um, let's have a look. Look at those fish. Ugh, nibbling on your feet. Yeah, 15 minutes, five euros. If you've always fancied giving that a go, dip your feet in there and uh, get on with it. Some other stuff there too and that's the indoor market the last place on my list to go when it rains in Benidorm is the Benidorm Palace it is a nighttime show but it is world famous and people come from far and wide to watch the Benidorm show there's loads of guest things on there as well just have a look in the box office right in front of me there and on all these boards all around town check it out it is a night not to be missed hope you've enjoyed this little video don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page and like this video. And don't forget to follow me on social media as well. Facebook, Twitter and Instagram for all things Benidorm.